Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's initial plan for life away from the firm was slapped down by the Queen, a royal biographer has claimed. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex announced in 2019 that they were working to become financially independent and would be taking a step back from life in the royal family. A statement shared by the couple at the time noted that they planned to split their time between North America and the UK. However, the couple's proposed plan to be part-time royals was denounced by the Queen, a royal author has claimed. Royal biographer Andrew Morton claims the monarch and her late husband Prince Philip were not fans of the couple's half-in and half-out fixture, deeming it an impossible gesture. In his new book The Queen, he writes, in 2019, Harry told the Queen that he and Meghan wanted to step back as senior royals, raise funds privately and yet still serve the monarchy, albeit in a limited capacity. The Queen's initial reaction was that it was almost impossible to be half in and half out of the royal family, it was akin to being slightly pregnant. He goes on to add that the move was questioned by the Duke of Edinburgh and claims Philip issued an indignant response to the Sussexes' proposal. He wrote, later, Prince Philip's indignant response to the couple's declaration of independence was, What the hell are they playing at? A statement was released by Buckingham Palace in January 2020, noting that a constructive and supportive way forward for Meghan and Harry had been reached. After many months of conversations and more recent discussions, the monarch described the couple and their son Archie, now three, as much loved members of my family, before outlining how their exit from royal life would proceed. The statement read, I recognize the challenges they have experienced as a result of intense scrutiny over the last two years and support their wish for a more independent life. I want to thank them for all their dedicated work across this country, the Commonwealth and beyond, and am particularly proud of how Meghan has so quickly become one of the family. It is my whole family's hope that today's agreement allows them to start building a happy and peaceful new life. After stepping away from their roles as senior royals, the couple and Archie initially settled in Canada before moving to Meghan's home state of California. They reside in Santa Barbara and have since welcomed their second child. Lilibet Lily Diana was born in a local hospital last year and celebrates her first birthday next month. It's likely the baby will mark this milestone in the UK as the Sussexes are visiting Britain for the Queen's Platinum Jubilee celebrations. Meghan and Harry said they were excited and honoured to attend some events that will mark the monarch's historic reign. It will be the first time the Sussexes have visited the UK as a family of four. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex made a stopover in Britain last month ahead of attending the Invictus Games, which took place in The Hague. Harry and Meghan met with the Queen at Windsor Castle and were also reunited with Harry's father Prince Charles and stepmother Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall. The Duke spoke with US journalist Hoda Kotb while in the Netherlands and boasted about having a special relationship with the 96-year-old sovereign. He said, We have a really special relationship, we talk about things that she can't talk about with anybody else. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are being pressured to get exclusive footage of the Platinum Jubilee, says Source. Royal expert Russell Myers says that Netflix is adamant about wanting juicy content from the summer celebrations and as per the multi-million deal, the Sussexes are bound to provide a unique material.